welcome to the session apparent expansion of a liquid in this session we are going to determine the coefficient of apparent expansion of a liquid the aim of this experiment is to determine the coefficient of apparent expansion of the given liquid using specific gravity bottle the apparatus we are going to use in this experiment is specific gravity bottle a retort stand water bath physical balance to determine the coefficient of apparent expansion of the given liquid we have to consider a specific gravity bottle and we have to find the mass of empty specific gravity bottle using physical balance first we have to adjust the physical balance in the horizontal position and we have to find the zero resting point corresponding to the given balance now turn the handle rightwards and you can observe the turning points the left turning points are 12 12 and 12 and the right turning points are 11 and 10 zero resting point corresponding to the physical balance is 11.25 now we are going to consider the empty specific gravity bottle in the left pan consider some weights in the right pan till the pointer is going to oscillate symmetrically the mass of the body that is empty specific gravity bottle which is determined by this physical balance is 10 grams 360 mg now determine the mass of the specific gravity bottle with the liquid fill using physical balance fill the specific gravity bottle with the given liquid completely and close the mouth with the stopper any amount of liquid that expelled should be cleaned with a blotting paper now we are going to find the mass of the given liquid with the specific gravity bottle using physical balance now the mass of the given liquid with the specific gravity bottle is 36 grams 350 mg now we have to consider the room temperature using a thermometer in this the room temperature is 32 degrees after observing the temperature we have to suspend the specific gravity bottle with the liquid with the help of a thread connected to the retort stand now after considering water in the water bath we have to immerse the bottle with the liquid in the water bath with its neck upwards with its neck 
without touching the water. After adjusting the specific gravity bottle in the water bath, we have to raise the temperature of the water bath. Now, we are raising the temperature of water bath in which the specific gravity bottle with the liquid is placed. Whenever the liquid in the bottle is expanding, we observe some part of the liquid will ooze out. Then using a blotting paper, we have to remove the liquid that has been expelled out. After oozing of liquid stops, we have to remove the specific gravity bottle from the water bath. We have to clean the surface of the bottle by using the blotting paper. Record the temperature of the water bath after oozing stops. The temperature is 57 degrees centigrade where the liquid oozing stopped. Now we have to cool the specific gravity bottle with the liquid till the room temperature attains. We can observe some mass of the liquid expelled out from the specific gravity bottle. Now after the liquid has been cooled down to room temperature, we have to determine the mass of the remaining liquid with the bottle using this physical balance. Thus, we conclude this experiment after we determine the coefficient of apparent expansion of the given liquid and the coefficient of real expansion of the liquid when alpha g is given.